Good morning. Welcome to Our Lady of Lourdes. Very special welcome to any visitors we have with us today. And also welcome to those of you joining us from home via the live stream. Today we celebrate the 16th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Scripture readings can be found in the hymnal starting with 1139. That's 1139. The responsorial psalm refrain is, To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul, my God. The presider for this liturgy is Father Matteo Zamora. Let us now join together in singing number 754, Build Us a Table, number 754. Please stand as we begin our celebration. <clears throat> Mark our boundaries and keep us apart. Walls keep the world from our eyes and our heart. Tables around making room for one more. Welcoming friends we had not known before. So build us a table and tear down the wall. Christ is our host, there is room for us all. Sure, who is in and who's out? Walls keep us safe from all question and doubt. Not at a table in open exchange. New ties are formed as our lives rearrange. So build us a table and tear down the wall. Christ is our host, there is room for us all. We were strangers divided alone Hate and distrust built a wall stone by stone Now at a table the bread that we share Joins us to Christ in a circle of care So build us a table and tear down the wall Christ is our host, there is room for us all In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. I am Father Matteo Zamora of the Order of St. Benedict. I am a monk of St. Myra de Archabbey. And it is my joy to be with you this weekend to share with you the good news that we hear from the Gospel, but to also share with you a little bit about St. Myra. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy.
Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Genesis. The Lord appeared to Abraham by the terebinth of Mamre as he sat in the entrance of his tent. While the day was growing hot, looking up, Abraham saw three men standing nearby. When he saw them, he ran from the entrance of the tent to greet them, and bowing to the ground, he said, Sir, if I may ask you this favor, Please do not go on past your servant. Let some water be brought, that you may bathe your feet, and then rest yourselves under the tree. Now that you have come this close to your servant, let me bring you a little food, that you may refresh yourselves. And afterward, you may go on your way. The men replied, Very well, do as you have said. Abraham hastened into the tent and told Sarah, Quick, three measures of fine flour, knead it, and make rolls. He ran to the herd, picked out a tender choice steer, and gave it to a servant who quickly prepared it. Then Abraham got some curds and milk, as well as the steer that had been prepared, and set these before the three men as he waited on them under the tree while they ate. They asked Abraham, where is your wife, Sarah? He replied, there, in the tent. One of them said, I will surely return to you about this time next year, and Sarah will then have a son. The word of the Lord.
St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, now I rejoice in my sufferings for your sake, and in my flesh I am filling up what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ. On behalf of his body, which is the church, of which I am a minister, in accordance with God's stewardship given to me, to bring to completion for you the word of God, the mystery hidden from ages and from generations past. But now it has been manifested to his holy ones to whom God chose to make known the riches of the glory of this mystery among the Gentiles. It is Christ in you the hope for glory, it is he whom we proclaim, admonishing everyone and teaching everyone with all wisdom that we may present everyone perfect in Christ. The word of the Lord. Be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part and it will not be taken from her. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. He always stays at your place whenever he's in town. And who can blame him? You have a way of making him feel right at home after he's traveled all over the hill country. He can always count on you to set the table for him with all of his favorites. It's no secret that your cooking is the best in all of Bethany. It's arguably the best in all of Judea. Why else would he keep coming back? But today you have trouble brewing in the kitchen. You are hosting a very hungry VIP, and there's a lot to be done. There's not enough time, and there's not any help. You can use an extra pair of hands, but your sister has left you to do all the serving. She's just sitting right there by the master's side, listening to him talk. Doesn't she know that he comes for your food and not for her conversation? You finally give in to your frustration and say something. Lord, do you not care that you're going to go hungry because my sister here won't help me in the kitchen? Martha, Martha. Of course he cares, but it's not the dinner that he cares about. He cares more about you. You see, this is what your sister has discovered. The Lord keeps coming back not because he craves your food. He keeps coming back because he craves for your soul. He's not as interested in what you can do for him. He's more interested in spending time, nay, wasting time with you. You see, if you're focused on what you have to do, you only see him as a guest passing through. But if you're focused on being with him, then you see him as a member of the family whom you want to stick around. And if you must know, the way to the Lord's heart is not through his stomach. The way to his heart has always been through your own humble and contrite heart. So stop fussing about everything. Take off your apron for a minute. Sit down for a change. And listen carefully to the master's instructions. And attend to them with the ear of your heart. Allow me now to speak to you briefly about St. Meinrich. There was once a high school youth group traveling from Arkansas, and they arrived at St. Meinrich late at night. As soon as they saw the twin bell towers all lit up against the night sky, they cried out, It's Hogwarts! And the old sandstone church and buildings and the monks walking around in long black robes might give kids, young and old, the impression that it is a place right out of a Harry Potter book. But it's more than that. I was a priest of the Diocese of Lexington for 10 years, right down the road, before I entered the monastery 
five years ago. I had studied in the seminary at St. Meinrad, and after ordination, I just found myself going back to the Holy Hill again and again. There's something magnetic about St. Meinrad, and I'm here to invite you to visit and discover for yourself the peace and prayer that permeates this place just an hour drive west from here. Five times a day without fail, even when the great fire burned down our buildings a hundred years ago, the monks of St. Myron gather to pray for the church, to pray for the world, to pray for you. I'm also here to invite you to pray with us and to pray for us in our work for the church. At the end of your pews, there's a holy card with a prayer for vocations in the church. You will find there a picture of Father Stephen Reeves, um, a priest of the Archdiocese who's now um, assigned in Bardstown, and Claire, who is one of the, who is the daughter of your DRE and who had participated in our One Bread, One Cup Youth Conference. I invite you to say, this prayer for us. I invite you to pray, say this prayer with us. For more than 150 years, we have formed men to be priests here in Kentucky and all over the country. Many of your priests in the Archdiocese studied at St. Myron. Father Scott is from the St. Myron College of Cl College class of 1983. Father Isaac, who helps out here was a monk of St. Myron who decided to become a diocesan priest, which is the reverse of what I did. I was a diocesan priest who wanted to become a monk. We have also formed deacons, lay ministers, guided oblates of our monastery. We offer retreats to people near and far and formed our youth through the One Bread, One Cup conferences. We have been busy with the Lord's work and we need your prayers so that we might be sustained in this work. Finally, I invite you to consider prayerfully how you can help us in this work for the church. In your bulletins, there's a letter from Arch Abbot Kirk and more information about St. Myron. I only ask that you look it over and to respond generously as you can. Let's stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, Consubstantial the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, when the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, and was spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. Through the intercession of St. Mary and St. Martha, let us bring our needs before the Lord. Our response is, loving God, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, that he may continue to teach us how to strive for social justice, we pray. Lord God, hear our prayer. For the clergy and religious, 
that their example may be an encouragement and source of inspiration for young people to consider a church vocation. We pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. For the ability to advance peace in the world, that the Holy Spirit will guide all people everywhere to actively address political, economic, and social divisions around the globe. We pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. For those who are like Martha, living lives of service, that they may be rewarded for their labors, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. For those who are like Mary, seeking the better part through lives of contemplation and prayer, that they may be strengthened in their desire to listen to the Lord, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that we more fully dedicate our lives to Christ, whose death and resurrection offers the only peace that endures, we pray. Loving God, hear our prayer. God of creation, in you we place our hope and trust. Hear our prayers that in listening to your word and feasting at your table, we might be strengthened to do your will now and always. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Please join in singing our song of preparation, number 751, the servant song, number 751. God, who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion the varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each has offered to the honor of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us far redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience and so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for oh, this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for oh, this is the chalice of my blood the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, and Shelton our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family, whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you and are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter in my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please join in singing our communion song number 936. Gather in your name, number 936.
Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. As disciples who are called to follow Jesus, let us together pray our stewardship prayer as found in the back cover of the hymnal. Our parish is composed of people, people like, like me. I help I make it what it is. is. It will be it friendly, friendly if I am. I am. It will be, will be holy, holy if I am. I am. Its, its pews will be, will be filled, filled if I help fill them. them. It will be it will prayerful be if I pray. It will, it will make generous, generous gifts to many causes, causes if I am a generous giver. giver. It will bring, bring others into its worship if I invite and bring them. It will be a parish of loyalty and love, of fearlessness and faith, of compassion, charity, and mercy. If I, who make it what it is, and filled with these same things. Therefore, with the help of God, I shall dedicate myself to the task of being all the things that I want our parish to be. Amen. Our Lady of Lourdes is hosting our next Red Cross Blood Drive next Sunday, July 24th, from 1 to 6 p.m. in the cafeteria. To schedule your appointment, please go to redcrossblood.org and search for zip code 40207. As well, we are accepting donations in support of St. Meinrad Mission and related programs as you leave the church today. A hospital, uh, excuse me, a hospitality minister will be available with a collection basket at each exit to accept your gifts. Please give generously. Thank you. The readings for this weekend are all about hospitality, and I'm certainly very grateful to the warm hospitality that you have given me, but also to the seminarians that we've had um, who had stayed here during the summers. I'm the director of pastoral formation in the seminary, and I know that a couple of summers ago, now Father Dustin Hungerford stayed here um, directory while he was uh, doing his clinical pastoral education chaplaincy um, training at Baptist Hospital. And now you have Matt Millet uh, staying here for the summer. So thank you very much for that hospitality that you extend not only, not only to our seminaries, but today to me. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. God. Please join in singing our closing song, number 835, They'll Know We Are Christians, number 835. We will.